Okay, once you uh, draw the circles in the top uh, plane there and extrude this bottom half, finish the sketch and extrude it, you will get something like this right here. You have to, have to reverse the program and step back through it, but just start over if you have a problem with it. Sometimes the dimensions get all screwed up. Okay, look at here. Now, you, once, you, once you click uh, Finish Sketch here, click Finish Sketch, and then you go to Extrude again. You, you click on with the surface here. There you go. There's that part right there. You see how that extruded up that half circle there? And then you extrude this part here, and you got both move this out of the way. If you can see that, Okay. There you see your half circles have been. If, the, if that's not right, you just undo that and it's through the other parts of the circle. Let's see if that's right. You can rotate this around and take a look. You see that's that way, and then you you can pull these pull these down. With, Back this way, down through the object, and then you look around here. You see the holes right there, uh, right there. Move this down here. You see the holes right there. Can you see it? See the holes right there, and you see. Turn this upward. Rotate this around. You can see the you can see the holes right there on the front view. Right there. Right there. You see there. That what you need. That, that's what you want to get. And see what you watch me move that arrow up and down. You can see the depth arrow. You can see the whole the whole depth changes. Like that, or you can come all the way through the other end. You see, what we want to go to two point five. See the number changes over there on the right. You see the number, or you can just right there. It's two point five. You can in, you can do these separately or do them the same. Uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to. Uh, our sketch says one should be two and a half inches and one should be uh, one point five inches. So it's up to you how you want to do that. All right. Check the green arrow, I mean the, the blue arrow there, and really you you're done, except for putting your name on it. Okay, that's it right there. You rotate it around. The way you put your name on it is uh, I'm gonna try to do this right here in the front view here. We rotate it around. Let me see here. put your name on this side right here. So on this side right here, you can check you uh since it's highlighted, check uh click new sketch, right click, right click on the space, go to new sketch and bring it down and you can put your name across here by finding your text tool. Your text tool is up here somewhere. The, the letter A is text tool right there. Click on the letter A and then you should come up with some sort of screen here and then type in your name across there. You can use all kind of fonts and variations of it. So you click on the take to double click on there. Brings up the text tool here. You type in there and then you hit OK there's my name there okay and uh, let me see how you there's a uh, stretch rotate you see it there's all the types of uh, 
commands over there. I'm putting a box right, so that takes me back there. Okay. But to change the font size, you know, you just do it like in Microsoft Word. When you bring this back up, click double click on it. This is your uh, model parameters. Learn what they do. If you want to change the height of it, you uh, you type in a height, maybe 0.5, give you a, a large. 0.3 is high enough. 0.3 is high. You know, 0.3. Hit OK. Let's see here. 